Sussex fans have expressed their outrage after a royal-themed float at the Mardi Gras festival in New Orleans seemingly mocked Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were depicted alongside other royals on a float taking part in a parade through New Orleans as part of the annual Mardi Gras celebrations, which are taking place this year for the first time in two years. The prince was depicted coming out of a toilet at the front of the float while wife Meghan was shown wearing a sash that reads Windsor Winer. Pictures of toilet roll titled Morning Flush and Daily Pale accompanied caricatures of other royals on the float, which was titled Royal Throne, seemingly parodying the British press coverage of the Sussexes. The Queen was also pictured reading a newspaper with a front page dedicated to Harry and Meg. Prince Harry's father Prince Charles was pictured with a speech bubble reading Find Your Camilla in a reference to the royal's affair with his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, while he was married to the late Princess Diana. Meghan was painted holding a suitcase bearing USA and Canada badges, alluding to the couple's move to the US in 2020 when they announced their decision to step back from royal duties. Kinsey Schofield, a US-based journalist covering the royals, tweeted, Yowza! H&M-themed Mardi Gras float from the Crew Day Top Parade last night? H coming out of a toilet and M wearing a sash that reads, Windsor Winer. Another user chimed in, Oh dear is their popularity in the US going down the toilet? Another questioned, but aren't they adored in America? One user tweeted, lol. You know you've truly made it in America when you have a parade float decorated in your honor. Congrats to the happy couple. The images of the float emerged just hours before the Sussexes were awarded the NAACP President's Award on Saturday night for their humanitarian work and distinguished public service. The couple, who live in Montecito, California with their children Archie, two, and 10-month-old Lilibet, were awarded for their work helping a Texas women's shelter promoting vaccine equity and creating community relief centers with World Central Kitchen. Taking to the stage to receive the award, the Duchess of Sussex said, It's inspiring to think about the legacy of the Image Awards, which began shortly after the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were passed into law. Today, we can continue that legacy by re-establishing federal voting protections in our country and fulfilling the work of civil rights giants, like the late John Lewis. Harry does not have any regrets. The insider told us weekly. He feels liberated and excited about starting this new chapter. According to the source, Prince Harry believes relocating to the United States is the best decision he's ever made. Although he was eager to embark on a new life, Harry hopes his relationship with the royal family will heal someday, according to the insider. Harry finds the situation with his family regrettable, the source claimed. But he says, they have, no regrets about moving, and that things are just getting started for them. Meghan and Harry stepped down from royal duties and stopped using their HRH styles on March 31 last year. The Sussexes, who are expecting a baby girl in the summer after a miscarriage last year, have embraced their new life in California, away from the monarchy. They have secured lucrative multi-million pound deals with both Netflix and Spotify and established their philanthropic Archul Foundation. The couple bought their $14.5 million Montecito estate and have said they want proper time off when their baby is born, according to reports. The baby girl will be the first royal to be born in the United States and sources have told Vanity Fair that the couple want to take leave and spend proper time together as a family. T comes after Harry recently revealed his new role as an executive at a Silicon Valley startup firm. The Duke of Sussex will be chief impact officer at BetterUp, a mental health services business worth $1.82 billion. Harry will help promote an app used by corporate giants including Facebook to improve staff well-being. Users scroll through profiles of therapists and life coaches, just like dating app Tinder, and select a match.